Mm, no. There's no, there's no perfect system. Yeah. There's just... I, it, look, communism works perfectly. And this is a fact that it's time everyone recognized. It works perfectly after you kill anyone who dare oppose you. That's the <laughs> issue. When, yeah. ev- when, when, when everyone is ideologically homogenized, your system works because everyone expects what they get. If you're starving to death, that's the world we live in. Like Harry Tubman said, I freed many slaves. I would have freed many more if only they knew they were slaves. So whatever system you have, if you eliminate dissent, the system operates. Is it the best system? Well, it depends on what your definition of best is. So if you look at um, parliamentary governance, democratic uh, uh, in, you know, uh, constitutional republics or whatever, I think what we have in the United States is the best we can come up with, but you will still get power coalescing, which leads to corruption that needs to be uh, accounted for and held accountable. But so long as everyone agrees ideologically, government governance is it doesn't matter if everyone on the planet was as religious as Seamus Coughlin you'd have world peace you would have no conflict no crisis there would be no war because they would all be ideologically homogenized it's not because Seamus is the nicest person in the world or because his religion is correct he may argue that but it's because they all completely agree on their moral structures and foundations as to what they should or should not do which means no one would steal no one would murder if someone did, they would all agree, like, that was a mistake. Even the person who did it would be like, I can't believe I did it. You're right. I was wrong. The problem is when people disagree on what they should be allowed to do. And we're trying to find that balance. You had resource distribution. Um, right. But if everyone was ideologically homogenized, resource distribution would not be an issue. They would all completely agree. Someone would say, well, we need food in this city. Unfortunately, the only food available is by those people, and they've grown it themselves, and they're going to keep it. Right. Understood. It's theirs. They're, that's it. The, the issue is there are people who believe I, I should be allowed to steal from you because I'm more important than you. And then there's a guy who says, I grew this food. It's mine. You can't take it from me. I will defend it by force because I don't want to die. Yeah, there's the people of like kindness and compassion are the basis of reality. And then there's the people that are like might makes right. And those are the people that tend or to run very things. Envious. Not, not to be fair, what I'm saying only works with a moral foundation. If there are people with no morals, they could all completely agree it's my right to take it, and you get nothing but chaos, war, famine, yeah. you know, murder. I'm I'm talking about. I, I think it's fair to say that Christianity, if people followed those tenets the way, like, and again, shout out to Seamus Coughlin, the way he does, faithfully executing these these beliefs and these good morals, then the, there'd be world peace. At least for a time, you, you, that's un, a, un, until people start to develop counter morals and then fight. Sure. It's entirely possible that, uh, you know what? I'm going to say this. It is, it is completely factual. For a time is the correct response. The United States was a Christian nation. It had some bad things in it. Worked towards improving. Was very tolerant of evil. Let the Marxists come into their institutions. And now Christianity is being purged. Yeah, that's true. What do you guys? 